Hello everyone, my name is Min Zhou. I'm here to introduce my work, Simple Net, a simple network for image anomaly detection and localization. This will focus on the deployment friendly model for defect detection in manufacturing industry. The task of anomaly detection tries to classify whether an image has anomalies or not, and the anomaly localization tries to segment the region of anomalies. The figure on right shows our anomaly segmentation result on the Amritag anomaly detection data set. This task is challenging because there are no most image samples in the training set only. The anomalies are unseen. The diagram on top shows our model pipeline. It is essentially a classical classification model, including a feature generator. The feature generator tries to generate anomalous features by adding Gaussian losses to the normal features. So a discriminator trained with these features can tell a sample is anomalous or not. So let's talk about several, uh, several streams of methods previously. The reconstruction-based model assumed that the reconstruction network cannot model out-of-domain features by training the normal samples only. But this might not work well when the anomalous patterns have low color variations compared to the normal ones because they primarily measure the anomaly score in the image space, like RGB color space. And the embedding-based method tries to encode the normal samples normal samples into a compact normal feature space and try to model such distribution without negative samples. Since negative samples are unseen, it cannot guarantee the abnormal features are far from the in-domain distribution. The synthetic-based method try to make negative samples by modifying image directly. Some of them use external data set and others use predefined random patterns, but these generated abnormal patterns are still limited. So the intuition behind our work is the features from the pre-trained model are well distributed, meaning similar normal patterns are closed in the feature space in itself. In other words, they are clustered in feature space, so we can synthesize a normal features by adding large random noise to those normal features. And we can consider any synthesized feature that are far away from the normal features are out of domain. Here's the, here's the details of our model. It consists of four components, a pre-trained feature extractor that generates features from different hierarchies and merges them into the normal local features. So local features include different semantics, a feature adapter that tries to project the local features into a more compact feature space, which facilitates the training process, and a training time feature generator that generates out-of-domain features by simply adding random Gaussian noises to the adaptive features. Though we can think the normal features are distributed like a multidimensional Gaussian distribution, but we don't model such a distribution and compute the normal score on it. Because there could be multiple normal patterns in the sample, then we really need to model multiple multidimensional Gaussian distribution, where we simply can use a MLP classifier. So this model is conceptually simple because it is essentially looks like a classical classific classification model with an additional training time generator. The data flow denoted by the dash lines are dropped during the inference. So here's our result. The left, left figure shows that our method can not only achieve the highest performance on the competitive MVTEC anomaly data set, but also achieve the highest, highest FPS. The figure on the right shows that features after the feature, general, feature adapt adapter have lower standard deviations, showing the effectiveness of our adapter. So here's our presentation. Thank you.